Good to see you. Good to see you. How have you been? Yeah, uh, pretty good, pretty good. And, and to see, I just want to ask, to see all of this confirmed uh, by Politico, uh, after all the horrible things the media said about you when this laptop story first popped up, uh, you must feel in some way vindicated. Well, of course I do. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for my apology from Leon Panetta. I mean, and, and the uh, 49 others who uh, said it was Russian disinformation. I mean, I was so insulted when they said that. You, you can't find a bigger anti-communist than me, way, way before they were even born. And uh, to say I was a Russian agent, when I had, I, mean, I got it directly from the guy, from Matt. Right. He, he's the one that got it from Hunter Biden. And the only reason he ever looked at it, it was his property eventually, was because he was disgusted by the lies that Joe Biden was saying on television. He knew that Biden was deeply involved in the Ukraine. Right. He knew that Biden got about eight million, got half of that from Hunter. I mean, they keep ignoring, they keep ignoring the text from Hunter to his father, uh, from Hunter to his uh, uh, daughter rather, in which he explains that 50% of everything went to Joe for 30 years. Jesus. 50%, 50 of everything went to Joe Biden for 30 years. That's I, right on it, Hunter's it, it, uh, Laptop. Right. It, it, it's 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 such an explosive story. I mean, if it was really any other time, I don't want to just say if it was Trump, if it was any other time except right now, uh, this your television literally would explode. This story is so big. It's the sitting president of the United States. It's his son. He's a crook. Poli that's that's exactly what's uh, that's what this is showing. That's what this proves. And Politico is proving it. A, a liberal news medium is proving it, confirming a oh, huge story. It. And then look at this. Look at the screen. You can see this is a major story. But here's Politico's website yesterday. All of these stories. I could not even find this story on their homepage. All of these stories on Politico. We keep scrolling. We keep scrolling. All of these were more important than allegations that the sitting president of the United States confirmed by Politico is corrupt. They buried their own story just to protect a liberal president. It's unbelievable. They're, they're not journalists. They're not even Americans. They're sycophants. They're uh, ideological or possibly corrupt sycophants. I mean, you can't possibly ignore a story like this. I mean, the, rea the reality is that Hunt Hunter Biden, to his daughter in 2019, sends a text in which he says that for 30 years I've been paying all of the expenses of the family and I still have to give 50% of everything I earn to pop. Well, that That's explains amazing. the whole conspiracy. Then it's filled with a, maybe a hundred more crimes. Uh, simple summation, they made about $30 million selling his uh, uh, office as senator, office as vice president. It's a co totally corrupt family. It's also a bit perverted. You've got child pornography on that place, on that uh, hard drive on that the FBI had. Yeah, we've, no, we've, I mean, that, we've heard the, the allegations. Delaware police brought it. I brought it to them. Yeah, I brought it to them. I showed them the pictures of the young girl with no clothes on. They didn't do a damn thing about it because the Bidens can get away with child pornography. It's disgraceful. It's, it's absolutely disgraceful. No wonder he's such a terrible president. The man, the man is completely amoral. He, the, the, the fact that he's a nice man, garbage. He's a mean guy. You can see it. Like if I saw a picture of those Haitians down there in, in Texas and I was the president or I was mayor, I'd be on Air Force One right away fixing it for the mm -hmm. benefit of my country and for the benefit of those poor people that he's killing. I mean, those you know, people are 15,000 people are living in 100 degree Fahrenheit. And they don't have a bathroom. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, they're being here. And, and we're going to go into that. Play. We're going to go into that here in, in just a couple minutes uh, with Mark Morgan talking about it. That now they're, they're simply just releasing them into the country. So they will become all of our problems here very soon. I want to get back to this, though, for a second, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you know, the former president was impeached over a phone call trying to get this kind of this exact story investigated in another country. He was impeached for that. Meanwhile, the current president is actually being protected when actual proof of that corruption is shown. And that dichotomy to me is just astounding. Well, you know, I've been a lawyer all my life and for 17 years as a prosecutor. And uh, nobody really understands this. But my reason for doing this is my sense of justice was just outraged when I saw this. I mean, I got it to defend President Trump but went against Russian collusion because there was Ukrainian collusion, not Russian collusion. 
which is all coming out now, including with the indictment. Mm. Hillary Clinton paid for the Russian collusion story. It's completely made up. I defended him on that. Now, I didn't know that this hard drive existed at the time, which means that Director Gray of the FBI and the Attorney General hit it. They held it back when it could have exonerated the president. I mean, Gray should be out on his backside immediately. And look, and look at the FBI. It's completely fallen apart. I mean, they can't even investigate the case of this poor girl. Who, she, she doesn't have to yeah. be dead. Chris Ray. Yeah. They don't have, she doesn't have to be dead. And neither did those gymnasts have to be uh, sexually abused, all 70 of them. It's been, just it have been it. black guy after black guy. In, yeah. It's, it yeah we, have a, we have a director of the FBI who covers up crimes. I mean, it's disgraceful. Major allegations, a major story. Uh, Rudy Giuliani, former attorney to President Trump, former New York City mayor. Uh, you've been on this for a long time. You took so much heat when you showed that laptop to the FBI, when you showed it to the press. Uh, it's a major vindication for you, sir, and I'm, I'm glad you were able to come on the show and tell us about it. Thank you so much for coming on. Well, thank, th thank you for having the courage to have me on. A lot of others would not. Yeah, we, we've certainly seen that. We, we definitely. You. God bless you. We're happy God to have you, you on anytime, sir. Thank you.